Hi there, I'm Dave from Dino Bike, and today we've been de-restricting a Triumph Street Triple 660. <clears throat> so it's been quite interesting because we've now de-restricted and had a good look at all three 660s, being this one, the Trident 660, and the Tiger 660. Now, I think that the engine plant is basically the same on all three models <clears throat> but there is a difference between this one and the other two in that the street triple has three separate throttle bodies feeding the three cylinders and the other two the tiger and the trident has only one throttle body feeding three cylinders um, so based on that <clears throat> I had seen that this one here is producing more horsepower quite significantly uh, it's up at uh, 189 190 uh, what am I talking at 100 now I wish or you wish it's, it's got 90 horsepower de-restricted and tuned but that's with an arrow slip-on muffler on it so bear in mind that it still has the original big box underneath the engine there and the Cadillac converter is still in the system so it's really only just a muffler on the end of that so that it can make a little bit more noise. I suspect that if we were to put a full system on this one or even a half system that eliminates the Cadillac converter and the baffling in that big box that we would see a significant gain on top of that also. Um, because as it stands right now the mid-range from, from 2 grand through to 7.5 is pretty close to the Trident and the um, the Tiger. There's, there's not really very much difference at all. But once it gets up over seven, seven and a half grand, this bad boy <coughs> takes off. And as I say, produces almost 90 horsepower, whereas the others are almost 80 horsepower. Now the other significant not point of note with the other two is that they've both not just been de-restricted and tuned but they both have full systems on them as well so the original system has been completely eliminated and we've gone with an aftermarket performance style exhaust on both of them as I said so as I so you know like I'm saying or like I did say before I think this one if it had a full system on it we would see a significant increase in power not just at the top end or upper mid range to top end, but from low in the rev range, from you know, two, two and a half grand onwards, and we would then see significant, significant improvements in power and torque over both the Trident and the Tiger 660. So, I guess in summing up, if you like the look of this one as opposed to the Tiger and the Trident, um, and, and or you just think that the power characteristic of the Trident and the Tiger is maybe not going to do it for you then this is this is the lamb's bite to go for if you have a mind to de-restrict it once you're on finished on your L's and your P's and you then have a full license this is the bike that's going to give you the most gains out of all three in fact <clears throat> For 660, with what I'm seeing here now, and potentially what we can still get with a full system, I think this is probably better than any of the Lambs bikes that are currently available at the moment. To be perfectly honest, because the best, the best of them, if we, if we talk peak horsepower, the best of them is the CBR 650, which now uh, uh, the 2122 model now is producing 90 horsepower with a full system, but this one doesn't have a full system does it it's only got a little muffler on the end of it so I would think if we're going to compare all of them and, and include the Yamaha and the Honda the Triumph um, that we've uh, they're the only ones we've tested so far and I know there is still the Aprilia and the CF Moto has one as well but right here and now this is probably going to be the best performing bike of all of them to get if you are of a mind that you're going to hang on to it for a long period of time and de-restrict it once you have your full license. So anyway, I'll pop these graphs up. So what I'm going to pop up is the graph of this one. 
and as a comparison the Trident and the Tiger but as I said and I'll emphasize this the Triumph and the, the Tiger and the Trident both have full systems on them as well as a full D restrict and tune whereas this one the Street Triple only has the little arrow slip on on the end of the exhaust and not a full system so the Cadillac converter is still in place as is that heavy boxed up baffle that they all seem to have these days so when you're looking at these just bear that in mind please anyway that's it for me a little bit of information for you to, a little bit more for you to chew on I'm gonna leave it at that and carry on with the next job thanks for watching I'm Dave from Dino Bike.